The entire internet seems to be filled with people trying to make themselves feel better. Is that bad? Not really. But what worries me is the sheer amount of people who are apparently unhappy. And how they use that unhappiness as a means to get attention. Look, we all have problems, dude. Alright? Just freaking deal. You may need help here and there, and even may need some practical advice from a third party outside your situation sometimes, but... Yo! These people! These self-involved, woe-is-me, emotional troglodytes. Dude, they never progress. They just stay in their self-imposed cave of sorrow like the oversensitive Neanderthals they are. Every other day, their feed is filled with some sort of self-involved emotional BS. Constantly. Social media has become the I'm not okay playground for a generation of emotional eggshells who don't even realize that things aren't as bad as they seem. But the world is messed up. It always has been. I'm outraged. Join the club. I'm sad. Yeah, life does that sometimes. My relationship is messed up. Work it out or find a new one. Every problem in your life can be fixed if you approach it logically. Every problem. And maybe that's why everyone is so messed up. They don't approach things logically anymore. They approach them emotionally. And, yo, for everyone claiming they may not be logical, but have emotional intelligence, you don't. You really don't. Sorry. Essentially, that's a term coined for people who like to throw tantrums, but then claim they're just really in touch with their emotions. Bro. Yeah, um, you want to hear about emotional intelligence? Because I'm totally in touch with my emotional rage and anger, and I know exactly why I'm this way. Do you want to hear about it? Of course not. Because it's not about you, you self-centered prick. So, listen, for everyone out there who's generally a screwed-up emotional fool, how about you try this once? If some crazy crap is happening in your life, work, relationship, school, wh whatever, just put the emotional reactions aside and approach it logically. Even if it's something small. Game is glitching out, website won't load, punching a screen ain't gonna help. Turn it off and on again. Try that with your emotions. Turn them off for a second, boot up your brain, and try working with that, all right? Because if you've been in a perpetual emotional maelstrom sucking you under an ocean of feelings for years, guess what the problem is? It's the emotions. That's emotional intelligence to me. Knowing your emotions and using them productively and working around the parameters of feelings you have to deal with. I'm not saying don't have emotions, just use those emotions as a positive motivator to push you forward. Sad? Create art, music, write. It's an excellent outlet to vent. Angry? Also, art, music, aggressive workouts like boxing, MMA, the list goes on. There is no emotion you can generate that can't be focused into something productive. Yes, even depression. Trust me on that. Used properly, it is an amazing tool that can push you deeper into your own self. And by doing that, allow you to know yourself a bit better. And that will make your next dive into that sea of sorrow a bit easier. You'll know the waves, you'll be able to navigate the currents a little bit better each time, and even realize, as turbulent as those emotions can be, there's always a life preserver on the horizon. But you can't get there if you don't dip your toe into that ocean. Feelings are good, but so is logic. Used together, you're unstoppable. They are tools, not crutches. Stop being emotionally disabled and become emotionally empowered. Tossing out random posts about being sad does nothing. It's useless attention-seeking. That's all it is. You could be more, but you have to want to be. You have to try to be. That's all I want from people. I say this often. I want people to try. If you're in a crap place, you really got nothing to lose, do you? Try. Don't ask me why you gotta try to go through the sea of sorrow. Don't borrow my marshmallows. Because they're mine, you stuck in an ocean of depression. Don't eat marshmallows. Just gonna make you fat and more depressed. Yes, we've been there. I'm eating marshmallows now.